breaks the news to his mum. These guys are here because um, I'm going to tell you that I got into a, a football team that's going to be shown on television nationally, I think in the next couple of months. They'll be moving to Melbourne. Chubb has also been chosen along with Swanee, oh, who's yeah. soaking up the sun before oh, the move to Melbourne for the footy season. That's a handsome one. There's my mate Ned. Hello, darling. Toasted sandwiches, two-minute noodles and macaroni cheese. WA boys and South Australian boys are going to have to live together. You're going to have to get used to the Melbourne weather too. Chubbs and I have already agreed that um, we're going to try and get a, keep a clean house. Love you. <laughs> As you mate, we always tell each other we love each other. <laughs> The boys hit the road in Chubb's car, trailer in tow. We're going to miss you. Can you hear the thunder? Can you hear the thunder? But it wasn't all driving. Along the way, there was time for a dip at a watering hole and some kick to kick to stretch the legs before the border. It's like we're going into Mexico. At the border, look at that, what a proud picture. The destination draws near and the trio get excited. This is it here. This is our house. Home sweet home. <laughs> At their new home in Melbourne, Jaco, Swanee and Chubb are settling in. Yeah, put some Along with South some Australian housemates Aaron and Jane. Household um, cleaning right. agents. Aaron's a prison officer, so when it comes to the lock-up, he's the man for the job. We're locked up, hopefully. These guys don't lock up the leave. Windows are wide open. It's going to be a culture shock <laughs> uh, moving into a house with four other people. Uh, and Mr Security having to <laughs> deal with the, their lifestyle and decisions they're making. But today it's furniture on their mind. Cut crockery and cutlery. Barbecue. Lots of pans. Barbecue. First stop, a second-hand store. I've always, I've always wanted a white suit. Always. Thank God for the salvos. What do you reckon? <laughs> reckon this is a bargain, considering what we were going to do. Well, let's go and have a look all down up. the back. Is it all up, is it? Swanee's still searching for the perfect outfit. But hang on, Chubb spotted oh, another bargain. Because I need a mirror. You certainly do. Actually, you'll be able to buy an Andrews because you do work with them. Are you sure? The buying spree is over. Two lounge suites for less than $200. Beautiful. Great purchase. Oh, the most expensive ticket item of the day, hand delivered by the Grey Ghosts. Am I out of swear? What's this? That's it, we're dobbing in. There goes the carton for tonight, boys. Hey! <laughs> Got ticket. Time for the ticket. All right, our coaches are with us. Our coaches are with us in the studio. Coaches, imagine looking after those boys and, and lady for six Very, very happy. Interesting mix. Very happy uh, actually to have them from Western Australia and South oh. Australia in my <laughs> team. <laughs> very <laughs> pleased about that. You haven't wasted any time pitching for the Western Australia. Oh, but they're here, they're there. They're two hours behind, Reno. You all look a bit nervous, <laughs> I must admit. He's two years behind. <laughs> we lose one of you guys tonight, or ladies, and uh, you all look a little bit nervous. Jenny, you were up at four o'clock this morning well, worrying about... What are supposed to say, that? I was very nervous. I couldn't Should've sleep. Should have stayed in bed, Jenny. Should have stayed in bed tonight. Oh. Oh. Renee's confident. Jenny's pretty confident as well. We'll get down the tin tacks with the coaches shortly. And President Kekovic will join us next. And we may have to send him into the house if this is any guy. Chubb especially, as well as Aaron a little bit, seems to group us together as if we act the same way and as if we do the same things. We have a different, to a totally different mindset to what the older guys do. Seem to have this huge problem with our cleaning skills. I'm sort of on their case all the time, and they probably bag me and call me, you know, bad names and stuff. But I mean, hey, it's, it's a totally new experience for us. I mean, I've never lived out at home before. The older guys are sort of making it out to be something bigger than it is. If she spent as much time trying to keep the um, house clean as being trendy, the house would be spotless. Leaving like a couple of clothes here and there, I don't think is anything to get into a hissy fit over. We don't like having to play the bad guys all the time and saying, oh, when are you going to pick up your stuff? And then, then they come down and us saying, oh, well, you guys are a control freaks. And they're telling me they're young and they've come from a different home and, you know, like, you know. We're all different and it's just that those two are the supposedly more responsible. I'll be right. It's just as hard going to training, <laughs> for me anyway. We'll work stuff out, hopefully. I'm sure they've got a few qualities because they're pretty handsome young men. 
just as long as when they pick up, they get their little girlfriends to bring their mama in for me. 